Hey folks, wow, what an amazing adventure just to get that thing hooked up. I apologize. Hi guys, it's Jory, uh, the sales guy here at Area 13, and uh, I apologize for the tardiness. Uh, major, I'm not even going to say minor technical electronic difficulties, <laughs> major things going on, but we finally got it, and I hopefully you can hear me. Uh, Today, I know we already kind of looked at the Blackbird step through earlier in a video, um, but I kind of wanted to give you guys open up the floor uh, to see if we have some questions about it. Uh, obviously, they're on pre-order right now. We're looking at quarter four shipping. Uh, so good thing, again, like I said in the video before, that uh, only thing that would be an issue is components, waiting for components. So everything you know we have all the components so it's just about the frame i should say um so yeah uh i know there's some people online so let's get some questions answered and see what we've got okay let's see any chance of bringing let's go let's start up to the top huh let's see who's in here hi everyone okay can you put a basket on it dennis maddox uh no no basket you will have a front fender on this though uh i know the prototype right now does not show a fr front fender but uh, uh we will we will have a front fender on it just like the blackbird um it's probably gonna be a little bit different as, as of course there's a different level of clearance right here for the fender so uh once we have that fender in we'll uh, showcase that again as well uh so yeah that's uh possibility of a basket is not going to happen today um let's see who else we got rich good to see you again bud uh starting a flock of blackbirds here <laughs> yeah we're kind of getting uh getting some you know and i know you guys seen maybe possibly on the auction the firebird and the bluebird so we're definitely getting our birds in order uh so many birds in the basket, right? <laughs> uh, okay, let's see who else we got here. Um, let's see. Yes, I think this would be ideal for anyone that's having issues of getting on and off. Um, Anyone that was a huge fan of the Blackbird uh, step overs, now you have that ability to step through it a lot easier. As you can see, uh, your clearance right there is very, uh, very accessible. Uh, even if you have to get off the bike real quick, uh, jumping down is not going to be an issue uh, for that. Let's see who else we got here. Uh, Dennis, any chance of bringing the X-15 back? Probably not. Didn't really have that high of a, uh, calling for it. Um, but as you can see, we did release a video yesterday of the Suron, uh, which is, uh, like I said, a really, really good bike, uh, for its power and its lightweight. Uh, I think that's going to be a really cool adventure if we can, uh, jump on that. Uh, but who knows what Area 13 is up to these days, right? <laughs> uh, but today, like I said, we're going to go over the uh, Blackbird step through and go through some details about what uh, you might see on there and might have some questions on. So first and foremost, I am going to zoom in to probably one of the biggest questions I've seen on YouTube when we first busted this out was that casing right there at the cranks right here. A lot of you have asked, is this going to be a mid drive or is it able to be converted into a mid drive? No, that is actually the new housing for the um, controller unit. So with that being said, uh, no possibility of turning it into a mid drive. Uh, I like to stick with the Blackbirds on the hub drive with the same motor, the 750 watt rear hub motor that peaks out at roughly about 1300 watts. Let's see who else we have. Uh, so let's see, Rich. 
Rich, you're asking what the weight limit is. Well, I'm 200 pounds and it works just fine with me. <laughs> but anyways, um, it is uh, same, roughly around the same weight capacity as uh, as the Blackbird step over. You're looking at probably roughly around 250 to 275 pounds. Um, so with that being said, it should still be handled just as fine as that one. Uh, Bart Newman, welcome. Uh, what size tires? These are gonna be 26 inch tires, which is gonna be the only size that this Blackbird step through is gonna come in. Um, we uh, didn't really want to do anything uh, smaller than that with the, how, the fact of the low step through. It's, uh, I think it's accommodable for all sizes. Uh, five, two and up, I would say, would have, would have no problem being able to step step down and step uh, through on that one. If you wanna get, uh, can we get a close up view, Rich? Of course we can get a close up view. That is what we are doing today. So, as you can see, There's your rear hub motor right there. Controller box right there. Integrated battery right there, which is again a 20 amp hour, 52 volt still. 26 inch tire, still tubeless ready, by the way, guys, still tubeless ready. You'll still get your tubeless ready kit in there. Same display, same hydraulic four piston brakes. All the things you love about a Blackbird uh, in a step through form. It is warm today. I apologize, guys. Um, okay. What is top speed? Yes, that was another question. Thank you, Dondi. Uh, top speed. I probably have gotten this myself. Uh, pedaling about 35, 37, um, throttle. I believe I got it up to about 28 to 20, uh, 29 miles per hour. Um, and then again, those varies, you know, that variables depends on, uh, you know, your terrain, how much you're pedaling, your pedal assist, if you're using full throttle. So there's different variables on that range wise, which I know was another question that people have had. Uh, unless I've already, unless someone is already asking it right now, you are looking about getting a little bit more range as, as opposed to the step over Blackbird as it had a 16 amp hour battery. Uh, you're looking at a 20 amp hour battery. So you're probably getting about 10, 10 to 15 miles of range more. But again, depending on the variables of that, uh, of the terrain and the, and the pedaling and whatnot. Um. Let's see if, yes, this. Bart, wait time, you're looking, like I said, uh, quarter four. Uh, they already have all the components because it's the exact same components as the Blackbird. Only difference is the frame as well as the battery. So that would probably be really the only hold up. Uh, quarter four of this year. By the way, this year, quarter four. Uh, so it shouldn't be having issues to really get them here. I know we have a uh, stipulation of these. I know there's a bad rep about how long these Blackbird step overs take. I apologize. We do the best that we can to provide as much uh, information about our shipping situations. Everyone knew about things about the ports. Um, and speaking of Blackbird step overs, they are all in here right now in our facility. We've got the 24s and we have the 26s. So if you haven't ordered yours yet, please, please, please uh, go online, call us, give us an email. You can definitely get yours right now uh, and shipped out uh, fairly quick. Um, we are working down our pre-order list right now. People that ordered them back in a while, back a while ago. Uh, so with that being said, if you've already ordered your Blackbird uh, 26 or 24, you will be receiving that uh, here very shortly. Uh, 
they're they're definitely flying off the shelf and out the door and, and uh, shipping as quick as we can. Uh, so yeah, be 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 on the lookout for you guys' uh, notifications and and things like that. Tubeless with rim punch outs. Yes, it does have the rim punch outs. As you can see right there, I'll see if I can get another close up for you. Okay, Rich. There you go. Got the FedEx guy here with me. Smile, you're on camera. What's that? I said, smile, you're on camera. Live. <laughs> Never a dull moment here at uh, Area 13. All right, Dondi, what do we have today? I know this is off topic, but are there going to be any controller upgrades for the Red Rover 6 Plus? That is a very great question. Uh, unfortunately, right now, we are not in the process of working on something like that. We are um, in the process of shipping out bikes that we uh, need to get out to customers. Uh, uh, plus, we haven't had a Red Rover 6 Plus in front of us to be able to test it. We have to send it to the manufacturer to get uh, uh, it adapted to the new wiring that they have. Uh, it's a very big, long process, um, which probably, I don't know, I don't know if it's coming up anytime soon. So to answer your question, Dunby, uh, right now, no, we do not have any upgrades for it. Uh, and I do not know right now if we're going to have anything in the future for it. Rich, there's no such thing as a dumb question, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, uh, Blackbirds, as you can see, the, the regular step over Blackbirds have not been in any other color. Although, yes, we did alter two of them uh, for special uh, circumstances just to kind of uh, have some fun with some things. Uh, but no, we're not in the really the customization of, of changing the color. We're going to keep it the same color as those step over Blackbirds, uh, that matte gray finish. It's really, really a clean look. Uh, which I think is why a reason why you guys really love this bike in the first place. Uh, it matches well with the, the, the Blackbird plane itself. So uh, that's kind of the theme that we're still going to stick with, even on the step through. Let's see. Bart, you not, might need one. I think you should get one. Do we, did we sell the Bluebird? Yes, actually it went up for auction and it did get uh, bidden on and won. Uh, the proud owner came and picked it up. Uh, I hope they're enjoying it. I hope they're watching too, to see that we have step throughs now <laughs> as well. Uh, uh, it went to a great family. They uh, actually are big supporters of us. Uh, they uh, have, I believe a couple blackbirds as well of themselves and uh, definitely uh, uh, definitely went to a good home and uh, it was definitely quite a work in progress to see that thing be born and birthed uh, by Kyle. He definitely put a lot of time and, and uh, creativeness in that bluebird. There is the only color the Blackbird came in, but it's called, oh, there's only one other color the Blackbird came in, but it's called the Bluebird. Ah, I see. Well, thank you for the history lesson. Uh, Kyle probably would have told me that himself. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, we're still going to stick with the matte gray or the matte black finish on it. It's sharp. It's clean. It's easy to uh, spot and identify. So, um, yeah. We're going to stick with that. Uh, any other questions that you guys might have? This is the floor is yours. Uh, I'm here to try to help you answer anything that you might have questions about it, uh, thoughts about it, opinions about it. Uh, if you want to get your order in on it, uh, the phones are open. The website is open. Uh, it's on a great deal right now. Retail is normally $27.99, but pre-order sale right now, you're looking at the same price as the Blackbird, which is $25.99. So it's a huge steal. It's, uh, it's a good price for a lot more range, which is great. And you still got 
the same torque, uh, but easier access on and off the bike. Uh, other news, uh, we are having, an, you know, with month being this month being uh, part of Earth Day, uh, so all month long you'll see our website. We have some uh, Earth Day survival tools on there on the main page. Also, uh, be on the lookout for maybe some Easter egg type sales as well that might pop up. So be sure to pay attention to the website because I will be throwing some Easter eggs out there. Uh, you won't actually have to hunt for it. But uh, like an Easter egg, they will pop up out of nowhere and you'll be able to snag yours, uh, whatever that sale might be. Uh, I'm not going to say anything, but uh, just keep a look at it on the website and you'll, uh, you'll, you'll go from there. Uh, let's see, what other news do we have? Uh, that, oh, that sale, by the way, is going all month long. Uh, so please take advantage of it now. Uh, it will go all month long. April 30th will be final cut on that uh, and no more sales on that. Uh, let's see. Let's get back to the questions. Uh, wondering the cost on vinyl wrapping. Uh, that is a very good question. I'm not very familiar with vinyl wrapping. Um, yeah, I would think you maybe might have to Google that and, uh, and see what's out there and what, what your options are. Um, once the bike is yours, you, you're obviously free will to do whatever you uh, please with customizations and alterations, of course. Let's see. Uh, okay, let's see. Is the e-bike site ebike search site still up it should still be up ebikesearch.com it is powered through us uh, if you are looking to get rid of any uh of your old or pre-used or bikes that you just want to get rid of and don't care about it's kind of like i'd say the craigslist of ebike worlds it's strictly just ebikes uh so you can put it in up there create an account load up your pictures be detailed as much as possible and you can definitely put your range in there and to see who's going to be able to take advantage of, of maybe hopefully getting rid of your bike at a, at a, at a good, good cost. Um, you know, just make sure, you know, have it cleaned up and, and ready to go. Um, but yeah, ebike search, uh, com is still up. Okay. Rich, what customizations that you do on the step through Blackbird? I'm not clear on what that's going to mean. Uh, have you done, Rich, some of your own customizations? I would love to see the pictures. Please send it in. That'd be uh, an immensely incredible. I'd love to see what people have done creatively with their bikes. Uh, definitely something to be uh, intriguing to find out. Uh, again, we have done some fun, funny customizations on, on a few of our bikes, um, but uh, it's not something we're really technically in the market of and are, are planning on doing with any bike. We just kind of had some uh parts laying around and we decided to put one together and customize it to make it a little bit more unique and special uh, rich i appreciate your questions but is the taillight integrated yes so everything functionality wise is exactly like the blackbird step over uh, you still get the front headlight you still get the integrated, uh, the, both the front headlight and the taillight are still integrated with the controller. So you don't have to worry about getting batteries or battery operated lights. Uh, that's all in there. And, and to do so, if a lot of people might not know this, but if you need to turn on your headlight, hold down the up button until the light comes on. And then as well as to turn it off, you hold down the up button and it'll turn it right off. Um, so yeah, it, you still get the same integrated light, same rack. You get the same torque. You get the same uh brakes everything just like the step over but the step through do you have any saddlebags for the blackbird uh no uh, i don't i'm not really uh 
haven't really been had a calling for people that are looking for saddlebags for their bikes. Um, they want saddlebags, but we haven't had really much of a calling to sell them. Will we in the future? Not too sure again, but on, on this, it is most likely capable of putting your saddlebags on there. I've seen, I've had a lot of Blackbirds come in uh, to us and be showed off to us for the customers of what they've done with, you know, different types of things that they've added on the handlebars, uh, the saddlebags that they've added on to a Blackbird rear rack, uh, just the, the, the plethora of, of uh, accessories that I've seen on there uh, still amazes me to this day. I haven't seen anything uh, that's not been unique. So you can definitely add saddlebags on it. We do not carry any saddlebags on it. All right, so does anybody have any other questions? I would love to help answer. Um, again, I apologize for the camera difficulties. Uh, it's been kind of hectic here. <laughs> so uh, uh, we've been getting busier and busier and, and which is great, great for business. Uh, things have been getting real, real, real good. Weather is beautiful. It is like 80 something right now. I am probably sweating under this to TMI, I'm sorry, but uh, <laughs> it's what I get for wearing black, right? Uh, no, it's actually not too bad. It's got a nice little breeze, but it is perfect to go out riding right now. So I, that is why we're getting busy. That is why bikes are flying off the shelves. That's why we got our Blackbirds in at a perfect time for people to still snag a bike that can do all that torque and power that you would want in a, in a mountain bike that's uh, electric. So uh, again, the 26s and 24s are in stock right now for you to purchase uh, and to either come pick up or be delivered. So be aware of that. Let's see. What about toolkits that can be strapped to the Blackbird? Do you offer any of those for on the go repairs? That is actually a really great question because at this moment, when you do buy or receive your Blackbird, you are going to get one of our new video brochures. On that video brochure, you are going to be seeing Kyle say, your kit should come with a multi-tool. They do not actually come with multi-tools anymore. Uh, we have come to a, a point to where we have Guys don't have enough uh, inventory for the multi-tools to actually include them for free. So, but they are available online right now. I actually, that's one of the tools that I have uh, available for our Earth Day special. Originally $39.99, I have it for on sale, $10 off, $29.99. Uh, go to our website, you click on that. That's very easy, it folds all out. Um, great tool, has all the, uh, from a two millimeter Allen wrench all the way up to, I believe a six, so I think even almost an eight, I'll have to double check on that. Uh, it's got a wrench on it. It's got a screwdriver on it. So you'll be all set for that if you ever need a, a multi-tool. We've got a customer coming in right on. How are we doing, sir? Lloyd Johnson. Awesome. Picking up a bike. If you want to go right inside, someone who's got a bike in there ready for you. All right. Look at that. Is that a Blackbird that you're picking up, sir? Yes. Look at that. we got a customer that's just picking up his Blackbird right now. <laughs> Drove right up into the scene. Love it. Coming to get his Blackbird. That's what we kind of like to hear. So, uh, let's see. Any investor discounts? Unfortunately, no, no discounts at this moment. I do offer two bike discounts if you wanted to buy two bikes, one for you and one for a friend or someone that's special. Uh, it, uh, or could be that one. Uh, so no, no investor discounts at this moment, but I do have other discounts that we could work with and uh, with two bikes as well uh and i apologize that you're not having the greatest weather to be honest with you we definitely need a little bit more precipitation around here just to get the ground just to, to soak up some water 
Uh, I need it for my wealth, to be honest with you. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> well, I apologize. We don't have any birthday discounts. My birthday was just last Friday. So, uh, happy birthday to you, Mr. or Mrs. Any Blue Rose Vamp. Uh, I don't know if you're a Mr. or Mrs., so uh, happy birthday to you. I <laughs> uh, hope you're having a good birthday tomorrow. Uh, be safe. Uh, maybe you can go on a ride on a bike or purchase one of ours and, and go on a ride. <laughs> Let's see, what else do we got here? Hi, Raid. I was told to say hi to you. So, if there's nothing, <laughs> well, I'm glad, nice to know that uh, you have a trike, uh, mister. <laughs> uh, so, I hope you have fun on your birthday, on your e-trike. Uh, congratulations, and I uh, hope you have fun, and happy birthday again. Uh, so, without further ado, if there's anything else that I can help you guys answer, um, please let me know. Please feel free to call in, give us an email, shout out, uh, text, whatever you can do uh, to get us your opinions, your questions, and want some answers, let us know. Uh, the 26-inch Blackbird Step Through, ready for pre-order right now, $25.99. 26-and 24-inch Blackbirds, like that one's getting loaded up in the back of the truck, uh, are available for order, pickup, and ship up, shipping out. I am sorry. I am sorry, Ms. I apologize. I didn't understand your, your comment earlier. I apologize. Please forgive me. Uh, it is hot. No excuses. Uh, but please forgive me. And I hope you do have a happy birthday. Uh, you deserve it. And thank you for watching. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, please reach out to us. All right. You guys have a great day. Have a great weekend. Be safe out there. And uh, thank you for being a part of Area 13 family.